and what the different roles are for people on the council team? Well, uh, you know, really the roles are one unified role. Uh, to get out and uh, reach out to Vermonters, uh, to put together the best cabinet that we can that reflects, uh, obviously, the themes of this campaign, but more importantly, folks who can manage well, uh, can rebuild morale uh, among the state workforce and get the job done. Governor Dean's role, he's not here. He's not uh, the governor would be here. He's actually out of country now. He'll be back on the 7th or the 10th, and he'll be actively involved in a transition. You've no secret of the way you feel about Vermont Yankee, but I was reading one article today that, that titled you as anti-nuclear. How do you... You know, I, that's not a fair characterization in the respect that, you know, as many of my colleagues will tell you in the Senate, um, I was very uh, helpful to my power plant as president of the Senate uh, over the years, uh, as you know, because obviously it was one of my biggest employers. Frankly, I helped get them the preferential tax treatment they have right now. Some of my friends in the Senate used to call me the senator from BY. Uh, where energy lost me was uh, my feeling about BY has always been Vermonters keep their promises. The promise was that we would host the plant until 2012 for 40 years, unless there were safety or other issues uh, living to develop. And uh, we kept that promise. The promise that was made to us also was there would be no high level nuclear waste it would be safe. Certainly, if you would ask Vermonters 40 years ago, if there's tritium cobalt strontium uh, that causes cancer in human beings uh, in the ground uh, when this is over, you know, would that still be acceptable to you? Vermonters would have said, no, that's not acceptable. So a lot of things have changed. But to characterize me as uh, anti-nuclear, I think, is consistent with my record. Thank you. 